They are one of the most famous movie couples of all time, now nearly four decades after last starring together. Robert Redford and Jane Fonda are reuniting in the new Netflix movie called Our Souls at Night. Robert plays a widower who leads kind of a reclusive life until his neighbor, played by Fonda, comes along with a tantalizing proposal. Would you be interested in coming to my house sometime to sleep with me? See, we're both alone. You know, we've been on our own for, for years. And, uh, I'm lonely. And I'm guessing you might be, too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you had a quarter for every time a woman asked you that question, I can only imagine. How are you, Robert? I haven't been asked that often. Uh, I'm, I'm reasonably okay. Yeah, you're reasonably okay? Yeah, well, it's morning. You're good in the morning. I'm not. Well, I'm used to it. Um, I don't think it's a spoiler alert if I tell people, since that happens at the beginning of the movie, yeah. that perhaps you didn't walk away and say no. Well, see the movie. Okay. okay. All right. So you do think it's a spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, Tell me a little bit about Lewis. I mentioned in the introduction, he, his, his wife passed away. Mm -hmm. He's kind of gone into a shell yes. and hasn't really allowed himself to have much interaction with other people. What does his interaction with Jane's character mean to him? Well, I think her character um, re reintroduces him to, to love. I think he had given up on that. I think he made a mistake in his life and he was going into a shell to, to, to pay respite to that. And then she knocks on his door and asks him to come over, where you can see from the clip. So basically what I think is interesting about this film is that a woman drives the action. And were it not for her, were it not for her to come and push the envelope, so to speak, he would probably just rot away. People love seeing you two on the screen together. You think there, so? Yeah, I do. It's, I think it's what been... Makes you think? Well, because you're a power... You've got great chemistry. Yeah. When you read this book, you immediately thought of Jane playing this role. And she said of you, I wanted to do the movie because I wanted to fall in love with him all over again. Was that her motive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, what, what's it like working together with her? It's easy. I mean, we've done many films over the years, and so it just worked out that way that there was not a lot of discussion. We didn't have to talk about a lot. Things just kind of fell into place between us, and there was not much more to think about. So that's what I liked about it. I was reading, it's, you know, you did, a, you did Barefoot in the Park mm -hmm. 50 years ago. 50? 50 years ago. I mean, oh, and I'm still standing. You're still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's just every time you come on, we start to look back at the anniversaries of some of these. Does that movie still hold up to you about that newlywed couple trying to make it in New York City? Oh, God, no, that was a different time. Really? Oh, yeah, that was a very different time. The, the play came first. Um, you did that in 1963, by the yeah, way. Yeah, that was 1963. So the play came first and then the film. But that was a different time. There was a time where there's still a lot of innocence in the world and laughter was different. I mean, was, I'll tell you one thing, it was really weird. <clears throat> there was laughter at a certain point in the, in the play. And one, then Kennedy died. And the, the play went quiet for a couple of nights because it had to. And then when it came back again, <clears throat> I was concerned about, God, what are we gonna do with the comedy? You know, what are we gonna do with the comedy? And it's going to be hard to say a line where you're supposed to get a laugh. But what happened, we had to do it. What I noticed was the laughter from the audience was different and has been different ever since. There was something harsh about the laughter. And it hit my ear and I thought, this is, this is weird. I mean, the laughter is different. It's there and it's even stronger. But there's an edge to it. And that's what I remember. And from that point on, it's, it's been the same ever since. When you talk about a different time, I've, I've gone back and I've looked at so many of your movies. The Sting, one of my favorite movies of all time. Really? Well, yes, because I think as I looked at the film not so long ago, I hadn't seen it in the beginning because I was out of the country. But when I saw the film, <clears throat> I thought, you know, I don't think George Roy Hill has received the attention he deserves. But when I looked at that film and I realized that he did the whole thing himself, including the music, preparing the music, it's one of the finest made films I think I've ever seen. I love that movie. You and Newman, priceless on screen. It's always nice to see you, Robert. It's always good it's to see pleasure. you. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Come back Thank soon. You. Our Souls at Night opens in select theaters and starts streaming on Netflix.
this Friday. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.